Hey what is guys, my name is Eric and welcome to a really quick I guess Counter-Strike Global Offensive tutorial or video or whatever. This is mainly for the traders and those that trade up skins for to get like profit or whatever. Um, but yeah, um, so today's, today's video's topic is going to be how to check CSGO skin float values. Um, this is the mo like mainly important for um, for like trade uppers because a trade uppers is, is that even a word i don't know <laughs> for those that like to, uh, to for those that want to trade up skins and get like factory new uh, versions of whatever they are trading up to um if you didn't know if you trade up like fac a lot of factory new um skins then you have a higher chance of getting a factory new in return um there's like tons of different uh, like trade ups trade up contracts like that will like uh, that will promise you, I guess, um, 50 50 chance of making profit or whatever. I, I, this isn't the topic of today's video. I'm getting so off track. Um, so why why would the float value be important if you're trading up? Well, if you get like 10 um, factory new, uh, whatever skins you're trading up with. Um, but let's say they're all looking like minimal wear because their float values are really crap. Um, then you have a higher chance of getting like minimal wear of whatever it's written up to instead of factory new even though you have 10 factory new skins in the trade up um, but if you use 10 factory new skins that have a high float value a good flo float value then you have a much higher chance of getting actually actually getting the factory new version of whatever you're written up to so that's great um, and yeah if you want to uh, look up like float values of different skins and stuff or skins that you own and whatever or someone else owns Then you can use Cisco analysts um, Analysts sorry uh, is linked in the description uh, There's different ways of search, uh, searching up different like skins and stuff You can either go by the keywords like Asimov and then it gives you a whatever here Like up Asimov field test it. It does take like 10 or 20 seconds or something like that to actually load all of the um like the float values for all of the skins that people own and stuff, like all of the Asimos. Um, but yeah, um, you can also search for like floats, like specific floats and stuff like that. Uh, I guess I can show you guys. It may, uh, as you can see, it may take up to 30 seconds. Uh, so yeah, um, but that's quite, that's quite normal, so don't worry about that. You can also search for like pe people, actual people, like you can search me up. Let's see if this one works, I haven't tried this. Um, oh, God damn it! I'm loading this one, so I'll show you in a bit. Let's wait till this one loads. But you can also use asset IDs, um, which are these in your inventory. Um, and then you can paste these in or, or if you found asset id from someone else then you can use that too this is still loading so i'm not going to bother with that but it does work it gives you a list of all the float values and i guess it's it's using like the mar marketplace for all of the float values and stuff like that and it's a really great great tool as i say for those mainly for those that are trying to trade up but i guess if you're if you have a if you're looking for a rare skin like a factory new skin that is really rare and stuff and you want to get like the best float value for that um i guess this is a good tool for you too um but yeah i mainly see this as being a useful tool for those that are just trying to trade up and trying to maximize their profits i guess or chance to get an item that will be profitable to them but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video um i hope this was helpful to some of you guys if it was Please click the like button down below. Um, if you have any questions or other questions for your future videos or whatever, then leave those in the comment section down below. And as always, don't forget to subscribe.